hello welcome so in this video we are going to learn about logical statement we are going to learn about conditional statement in integration how we can use conditional statement just like using if statement if else statement how we can implement the concept of if statement in our integration so for implementing the if statement in integration we have a switch statement so using this switch endpoint we can implement the if statement in our integration so before going to use i want to explain you the reason i want to explain you the scenario where we will use so suppose here you can see that we have created integration where we are receiving three parameter as a request and returning back this response result in response so here for some suppose p number one we have one numeric value for p number two we have another numeric value and suppose for this p operation user will enter the plus then we have to return back the addition of this two number if user will select minus we have to return back the subtraction if user will select here a static operation then we have to return back the multiplication of that two numbers so this kind of logic we have to implement so here in the integration here using this start start rest endpoint we have request request payload and here using this map to rest we are going to return back the response so here using this uh, assign endpoint we are have created two variables we have created three variables var num1 num2 and result so we have map var num1 and num2 with the parameter values p num1 number 1 and p number 2 and the result is empty now we you can see that in result we have just created variable we didn't assign any value so what we want is that if user will select if user will enter plus operation over there so we have to make a condition here if user will select plus then we have to add result variable in result variable addition of that two above number so how we can do just here we have to drag this switch here and in switch we have to add the condition so here you can see that when we add the switch our statement something looking like that so here this is the switch and here this is the conditions so first is unidentified we have to give the condition name and this is the otherwise it means else statement so here we will in if what we will do we will use this p operation okay here you can say that you can give the name so here i am going to give the name as add add of this condition name of the condition is add and here we are going to check the operation as plus operation so here if you can say that this is the if and this is the value if the p operation is equals to plus okay if user selected p operation as a plus then validate and close so if user will select plus over here we have to do addition operation so where we have to do addition we have to add the first two value and store in sum in result so here we will assign use assign variable and give the name assign add create and here we will use the variable result variable we created here where result in this result now we have to add the value of this two we have to make addition of this two so first we have to number this p num so why we are using number function we are using number function so that if by mistake user will enter the a string value as a number we can handle that one okay so number and here we will use this two and thus this two and now click on validate so here you can see the expression number this one p number one plus number two because user has selected plus over here i have made the condition okay done close validate and close so yes if user have will selected user will select the plus operation then it will go for go this uh, in this condition and it will add the first two number and assign it to result variable and this is the else statement so i don't want else right now right so in else what you will do so suppose uh, suppose user will select minus so we have to add one more condition so from where you can add condition just click here and click on this plus icon there will be one condition added you can say that another condition added so here just i have to go for subtraction suppose so here i will select this if p operation is equals to minus okay here if you will see we have different different operation we have greater than operation we have a less than greater than equals to less than not equals to and all but we have to check the equals so here we have added equals close okay 
so what we have to do is that if user is selected minus so here you can see that this if operation so we can change the name so just edit so here we will change the name okay give the name as sub okay save and close so here you can see that name change name is changed and now we have to put it here and in using if if user will select man uh, minus and this condition is true then what we have to do we have to again use a sign and we have to use subtraction of that two assign sub so let me first add it because i have already explained the logic so here what we will do again we will go number we will add this one and now here we will use subtract operation number and here number two and that's it added so now this will be used for subtraction okay validate and close so here's what do one thing first let me copy these things so that next time i don't want to okay let it do it. validate and close so here we have added value for addition subtraction now we have to go for multiplication okay so here we have to add one more condition so just go add condition and this condition will be for multiplication so here if this operation is equals to a star okay validate okay sorry here we have to give double quotes okay validate and close so here in this statement we will give for operation so okay sorry again i did i didn't i forget to give the name so here i will give multiplication so mul validate close okay and we have to add one more thing for division okay so here we will add one more condition and this will be division okay so here let me give the name div and again this if this operation is equals to division okay then validate and close okay now here you can see that this is for multiplication so again i will go i will assign this okay and same thing i will do assign multiplication i am giving the name of this endpoint you can use whatever name you want and here i have to add the variable result and we have to assign the value in this variable so what value i have to assign i have to assign first i have to make this p num parameter value as a number and i have to do multiplication so select op multiplication operation number and again select drag this two and that's it just click on validated <coughs> so somewhere i have done any mistake yeah so validate and close here you can see the number one and number two just validate and close so this is for multiplication okay so for division let me show you how you can use functions so it's also provide functions right so just go for first use assign for update the value so assign division create and here select the variable in which we have to assign the value result and now here go edit and here if you will see it's provided function for div division right here you can say the divide so just drag this divide here this divide is taking two parameter that two parameter is value first num1 so here we will you map num1 and the second one i will map num2 so here you can say that we have mapped this to validate here you can say that divide p num and p2 so what it will do it will take these two as a parameter and it will divide this both number and it will return back the result so that's it just close validate close so here we have done all the conditions addition subtraction multiplication and division and else case suppose in else case what we need to do is that suppose in else case we will print a log message so for printing the log message we have to select this logger so select logger over here so while checking the log message uh, while uh, in in uh, tracing so we can figure out the message so logger else okay create and here select always so that it can show the message here what message we have to give in so i will assign invalid operation okay and validate and close validate close so here our integration is completed in the mappings we have already mapped the result variable 
in the response you can see that because in previous video i have shown you so here you can see that in the result we have already mapped the variable var result so it will return back the result so in a starting the result variable contain null value so if it will not go for addition or subtraction or multiplication or division it will go for otherwise and in otherwise we just print the log messages so here in mapping the result will be null okay so just save and close so here if you will see in this integration i have not added any any exception handling so we'll create a separate video for that and i will show you how we can use the exception handling in integration so let me first complete this thing let's save and then we'll go for run this integration so here you can see that we have successfully saved this integration and now this integration is ready for run so just close and it is already configured so go and activate this integration okay make sure this enable tracing is enabled so it will take some time to activate so once it will activate it we will run so now this you can it is activated just click on the test so here in body you can see that uh, we have given the operation as plus and the value is 1 at 2 at 20 and 30 just click on test you can see that it's returning the result as 30 okay and it's returning the result of 30 and let's see the log messages so here you can see that it's executed the first if statement so here you can see that we assign the using the assign we assign the variable first we created three variables num1 num2 and result in num1 and num2 we assign the value 10 20 and in result we don't have value because we didn't assign any values okay and now here you can see that it's running message root through the switch root with condition add so this add condition is executed and here you can see the message as addition of the value you can see that the value is 30 and now here you can see that it's exited and returning get the value so if we will select minus over here it will subtract you can see that minus 10 because 20 minus 10 is sorry 10 minus 20 is minus 10 because num1 is 10 and num2 is 20 we subtract num1 from num2 okay so here if we will select the multiplication operation so it will return back the result in multiplication so you can see that 10 and 20 is 200 okay so suppose here we will assign give 2 and we use subtract op operation okay subtract operation so it will return back the subtraction you can see that 10 divided by 2 is 5 so you can see that our integration is working fine and now if you will see suppose we assign the value as 0 so here it will divide 10 with 0 it will return the exception why is it returning back the exception because we cannot divide any number with 0 here we try to divide 10 with 0 that's why we getting error but now in this integration we have not handled the exception that's why in response it returning back the error so in next video we will use uh, exception handling in our integration how we can use the exception handling everything i will explain so here if you will see if i select the any any operation wrong values and just click on the test it will return back the result as null and if, why it return back the result as null null because that switch statement executed for otherwise case here you can see that message root through switch root with the condition otherwise because we didn't set any condition for this value so that it's run the else part so this is the basic integration where we have learned how to use if a statement or we can say switch a statement thank you so much for watching if you like this video don't forget to subscribe thank you so much